Good afternoon. Today, it's Tuesday. That means going swimming. So it's going to be another Throwback Thursday. Also, I think the pool's open for one more week. We're not 100% sure. So this might be the last week we actually go swimming. But we've already been talking about swimming the lake. And uh, Amy's looking for a raft to buy because she wants to float around, which is good because if she gets some sort of raft with a paddle, she could uh, prevent us from drowning. And there's something I want to do. Right now, the storm clouds are rolling back in. It was ridiculous before. I walked out of my office. It sounded like a herd of elephants was on the roof of the building. It was raining so bad. Then it started thundering and lightning, so unplug my laptop. Nothing got zapped, but uh, the building has been hit in the past. There's Oliver. And there's Oliver. What's up, buddy? That's really not a lot of hair, but it's a lot of hair. We got lucky. It was raining before it stopped, but... Uh, blue skies there's only a little bit left over there the rest is this it's probably going to rain again here very soon but it's getting close to the time where I have to get changed and go anyway so let's go take care of something WNEP Newswatch 16, that's Ryan Lecky, Ryan's run. He works for them, and the guy that they just got the quick clip of flying the drone, that's Corey. He is Ryan's videographer. They're both running the marathon. So, not only is Ryan running the marathon for WNEP, for Allied Services, Corey runs it with him and carries a camera and films him for probably not the entire race because they're running for probably five to six hours but Corey runs with him and films him last year Corey did get a small camera and it was probably a lot easier for him to run it last year they just got a Mavic that that's the exact Mavic that they were filming us run with on Saturday's promo so I just thought that was funny I'm, I'm putting landing gear on my Mavic and I hear the Mavic in the other room all right let's get back to this Cool. I, uh, I like the fact that uh, it's not permanent because this will now no longer fit inside this bag with this landing gear on. But with the uh, landing gear popped back off, see how hard it is to get it off. I mean, it's on there. It's on there good. It's not going to fall out of the sky. And if I were to leave it on, I don't even know, to be honest. Yeah, I guess it will. Mm, yeah, it doesn't quite close all the way. It hits the foot here, hits the back landing gear, so you can't leave it on. Which is fine. I don't plan on leaving this on anyway. Let's see how hard it is to take it back off. That's not bad at all. Oh. That was super easy. Very happy with that. Electrical Dynamo, thank you very, very, very much. I'm going to try to find a small pouch or something to stick that in so I can keep it inside this bag and also throw it inside my backpack when I throw it in my backpack. 
All right, I just went to take a quick peek to see if there was a chance I can get this guy up in the air. It's raining again. Here's another beer Sunday fail. Spoiler alert, all of these beer Sundays, they're all a beer Sunday fail. We never actually get it to work. Quick backstory about what we're actually doing. We're trying to make a beer goblet. I know I said this, but I don't remember if I replied to a comment or if I said this in a video. We saw a video on YouTube in German back in 2009, a guy put oil in a beer bottle, lit, not lit, heated up a nail to be red hot, dropped it into the beer bottle and it cut the glass right around where the edge of the oil was. And then he filed it down so he didn't burn himself. And then he flipped it and he glued the top of the bottle to the bottom of the bottle so it had a base and it wasn't gonna spill out and then he had a beer goblet. So we kept trying this. We tried this about nine or 10 times. Failed every time. But it's all this embarrassing and it's pretty hysterical. So I'll stop rambling. Here, watch the next Beer Sunday fail and come on back when you're done. Red hot, man. Yours isn't hot. Mine even in a flame, yeah. Yeah, yours is in the flame, dude. Mine's just awesome. It just sucks at life. Bottom of the screws getting red, I think. Let's try to use these screws now, too. Because we didn't weaken them by heating them. Am I even doing anything? Dude, you suck it. No, yours is in there, it's just not good enough. It's going out of red hot. You look like a Muppet right now, Jeff. I am a Muppet. I'm Jim Henson's cryogenically frozen head. Would you like to meet my friend Walt Disney? Dude, mine is so hot. How long have we been nuking these things for? I don't know, because they just started recording. Uh huh. Ready? All right, let's do it, Muppet. You first. All right, it's hotter. Go, 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 go. Do anything. Like I thought, the oil would bubble or something. You know what I mean? Maybe in Germany they make different oil. Vegetable oils. Maybe it's made out of humans or something. I don't know. Soil and green. You think olive oil heats faster? No, he used vegetable oil. He said vegetable oil. It did actually get hot. Is it warm? Uh. No crack. Mm -hmm. I know one thing for certain. Mm. A lot of beer. Yeah, me too. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed JT and I being complete fools yet again. Now, I might cool it with these for a while because swimming's calming down, but when I get back from vacation from London, I had to throw that in there. How can I not say that I'm going to London in a couple of weeks? Anyway, when I get back from vacation, JT wants to build a new floating deck at his new house. I don't know if I can call it a new house anymore. He's lived in it for like two years now. At least a year. I think it's been a year. But he wants to build another floating deck, much like one of the floating decks that we built at his old house, which was a beer Sunday. Didn't film it, but this time I will film beer Sunday. I doubt any ridiculous hijinks will happen, but you never know. So look forward to that once we get back from vacation. There will be a brand new Beer Sunday.
Time to go get changed and head out the door. I gotta meet Amy here in about 45 minutes. So if you like this video or any of my other videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I promise eventually the weather is going to be nice here in Pennsylvania. They're calling for it to be in the 90s over the weekend. So this weekend, hopefully, fingers crossed, it's Pennsylvania after all. They're calling for the 90s. It could be negative 20. Something fun happens. But I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for your next video. Good night.